now received an order from a customer. We've gone into the warehouse, found all the goods, put them on the hand truck and brought them over and put them on the truck and shipped them off to the customer. We sent the customer an invoice. Now it's time for us to get paid. All right, so we're going to do that by going into the accounting module here, financial accounting. Let's go into accounts receivable, document entry, and then incoming payments. So you can see that one is F-28, that's the T code. So you can always type that up here if you'd like. F-28. First we have to determine, well, our document date, when are we uh, paying? We'll go ahead and make that today's date. That's April 27th for me. And the posting date would be the same. Our company code, make sure your company code is correct over here. Make sure the currency rate is correct over here. The type should already be filled in for you. Now, down here in the bank data, it's asking, well, which account are we putting this payment into? Where are we receiving this money? Is it going into petty cash or what are we going to do with it? And in this case, we're going to bring up our chart of accounts. We can look at it. And we'll just put it in our main bank account here, 100,000. Of course, you'll put it in whatever account makes sense for you. So now we need to put in the amount. And at this point, I say, oh, no, I forgot what the amount is. How much are they paying us? Well, I guess they could pay you less than the invoice. But I may want to go back and just double check. And display that invoice. So I can double check. Oh yeah, 15,675. Of course your amount may be different. And then we'll leave the uh, value date as today's date. Now down here, we're basically going to say, here's how I want you to find the open items that this invoice is going to apply to. So for account, we'll use our customer's account. And I'll look for my customer using the search term. There he is. So there's my customer ID. You will use your own customer ID. And then I will choose automatic search. So you make sure you turn that on and now we click process open items and SAP is going to go out and find all those open items for us and set them up. So it also brings in the amount that we typed in. So now when we see here what we invoiced and then the amount that was paid, now we have a $0 balance in the not assigned field. So if you don't see that, that means you probably keyed in the wrong payment for the customer or that customer tried to shortchange you maybe or overpaid by mistake. So if that's the case, you may want to go back in and uh, restart your payment receipt and key in the correct number. All right. So you can always cancel out until before you've posted. So if I click exit here, uh, I won't save any of my work. It won't get posted. But because everything looks good here, I can now post my payment. And I see I have a new document number that was generated in my company for the payment I just received from my customer. Now we have uh, received our payment from the customer. We have completed our sales and collection transaction. We can go ahead and uh, exit uh, this screen and go back to our main menu. And that's all we have to do for sales and cash receipts.